good. So let's let's start it. So our project is the hyper. We have we have named it hyper traffic energy model. It is the generators, the mechanism that uh, transform the motion generated by the uh, intensive running of the transport. So the movement of the transport. To, so so. Uh, before, uh, I mean, the starting our project, we have just uh, made a brief, uh, I mean, image of the what kind of demands humans have right now. So, for if we just divide it by the categories, so it's uh, one of the biggest demands is the food. Then we have we need the water, energy communication and protection. So energy is also one of the big, I mean, the critical demands of the humankind. So uh, there are several ma uh, gaps in market, especially in the energy march. So it is um, because of the lack of the new market products or uh, unfair distribution of the energy resources and new market products. And also the utilization and run out the I mean the of the natural resources. So natural resources are not forever, so, so they finish. So this is our I mean the, the brief image from our uh, mechanism hypertrophic energy model. So what it is? It is a power station or a mechanism that would be installed on the roads, on the I mean the road lines. Where in transport, the cars, I mean, the uh, other uh, devices, the other, in, uh, I mean, the transport uh, vehicles move. So its uh, main working principle is that we put it on the, I mean, the, as a uh, layer on the roads. So when the transport, when the cars uh, cross over it, so uh, they make a pressure on it. So this mechanism transfers this pressure, this touching into energy through the special, I mean, the accessorized transistors, etc. So um, then we can uh, accumulate, store this energy and transfer this energy to the, uh, for example, for lighting the uh, roads for uh, giving the energy to the uh, facilities located alongside the roads. Also, it is very good uh, energy source for electromobiles. For example, Tesla models. As you know, now um, there is a growing demand for the electromobiles in the world. I mean, the, in, almost in all the countries. So, for these cars, we need some power or electro stations in order to charge uh, these cars. So, we can uh, store the energy that we receive from the roads into these electro charging stations and provide the electromobiles a uh, much more cheaper energy source. That is one of the options. So we have some theoretical calculations like the one car has four wheels. So if there is a um, big road with the six, I mean, the pieces, so then, uh, so it, uh, for example, one, how, uh, how much one car uh, creates a touching in one, uh, in, in one hour, so when if we turn it into energy, so we get we can get very big energy. That is our point. We have uh, some advantages uh, when compared to other markets. Most of them, uh, I mean, most critical of them are that uh, we start working and we can. Uh, Determine the power, the whole, I mean, the power of this system, starting from the installation, and uh, we can start using it starting from the installation. So 
mainly our uh, energy, I mean, the crea creating uh, power is sustainable. So we are locating it inside the main mechanism and uh, it has the degeneration process and uh, it is the renewable energy because uh, you just can imagine oh. that there are a lot of big and small roads in the world uh, of a million kilometers so then just for example in Dubai, in Brazil, in Los Angeles, in other uh, mega policies where uh, in a day, I mean, the millions of cars crossing the streets, the roads. So if you put this mechanism on the road line, and if the mechanism transmits all this touching, all this pressure to the energy and calculate, I mean, accumulates it, you can get very big energy. So we think that our, our potential clients could be, I mean, the drivers of the electric mobiles, as I have uh, mentioned earlier. So we can provide this energy in the form of electric mobile charging stations. We can provide this energy to the facilities along the roads for their lighting, road service companies, and also we can provide this accumulated energy to the villages, settlements that locate alongside the roads. So we have our project company, uh, Sword and Eagle. It was incorporated uh, last year according to the legislation of the Republic of Azerbaijan. So it is the local startup company specialized on disruptive technologies. So our main team, the Tural Ismailzada, it's the project owner and uh, our team leader. I am Altay Jafar of the Council for uh, International Relations. Mr. Rusal Ismailov is Council for uh, Legislative Issues. We have our team members. As I, Mr. Azai Basov is an engineer, construct engineer. Mr. Shahin Karimli is the constructor and author of the several projects, and he is also a disabled person, so he is very big, very little, and very and uh, uh, spends all his life in a wheelchair. But uh, despite that, he is very energized man. So with his uh, very very limited abilities, so he can create very good animations. Uh, calculation, etc. So he's one of the main members of our team. Mr. Nadir Zabeo is our engineer, electronic engineer. Mr. Fatsin is our market research manager. So we have uh, several um, partners and supporters, some uh, scientific people like the professor Norman Matt Mamadov. So we have uh, our um, investment council, Mr. Hikmat Aliyev, uh, and also several, um, I mean, the supporters from the National Academy of, Academy of Science. So they are working on the energy efficiency issues. So. Those people are also our, I mean, the supporters. Uh, there are professors, uh, electronic engineers, and also the uh, managers of the technological parks among these people. So um, that is a brief, uh, brief, um, presentation about our product and uh, about what it is. Uh, what I want to do now is to go back to the presentation and provide you with feedback on what I see and make some comments. 
So going back to the first page, okay, then. I like the way that you present what you do in the first page because you mentioned that generators that transform the motion generated by intensive running of transport to energy, impulse and energy. It's, it summarizes what you intend to do, which is good. It's a simple way to demonstrate what you do. I like the first uh, picture that you present, which is totally connected with energy and energy being uh, connected and also being transmitted. So I like the way that you structured your first slide. The only thing that is, is confused to me is the symbol of sky angels. What is okay, this? Then. Okay, then. Ah, okay. So uh, we have our project company, Sword and Eagle, but now we are uh, planning to rename the, our group. So we have already made a logo and called it Sky, An sky Angels Group. So now um, it's only the matter of time to officially, I mean, the re register the company oh, with the yeah. rena renamed, uh, I mean, the re renewed name. So that is the point. I see. That's why, that's why we have used our new logo. Ah, okay, it's clear now. So the next slide is categories of demands for humans. This slide you mentioned that there is demand on energy in different categories, right? Yes. So we also uh, we wanted to stress out that. So the energy is one of the important and critical demands of the humankind. So if we just see the portions of the demand, demand categories, so energy uh, takes, I mean, 25, 20, 23. So it's almost one for of the all, uh, all demand categories. What is the problem? Uh, I think, okay. I think let, there's, let, there's one slide missing here, which is let, the problem. Uh, let me just briefly again explain it. So, uh, it is the uh, when we are talking about the uh, about our mechanism, we are uh, we put, we first stress out that uh, what uh, mainly the people the humankind demands. I mean, the, we have stressed out the main categories. So, for example, okay, I understand. I, I understand. I'm just saying that uh, the order that you presented could be improved because when you present your, your startup, your idea, your project, the first slide you present what you do, what's the intention. The next slide, which is this one, you should explain what's the problem that is outside that your solution could address. When you present the problem, you are going to say that there is uh, a lot of energy being thrown out without everybody, everyone notice, without anybody notice. Why? Because we have a huge potential of energy creation that is just disappearing from our eyes. So what we could do is we could solve this problem. With our idea, we are proposing for to implement our project in this and this location so that we will have the ability to create X thousand kilowatts per hour and that will will be benef 
official for a multiple categories of the market. With this total energy created, we could allocate in specific markets according to demand, and then you talk about demand. That's a very good point. Thank you. Because at this at this point, I don't know exactly what's the problem. I don't know very well what you do. I only I only know the one sentence of what your company intend to do. So explain the problem, talk about the solution, and then you talk about the market. And in speci in this specific slide, you could provide us with a different kind of information. Instead of saying that you are going to locate 33% of the energy created on the food category, you could say that food industry required X amount of energy. Water industry required X amount of energy. And we are going to allocate... Uh, 10% of the demand that this market required in, in Middle East or in Asia or in the geography that you're going to choose in order to address this problem. And this energy will be more, it would be cheaper compared with the, ex with the existence existent energy source. So I, I didn't see here what you are proposing to the market, in fact. Okay, we, we got your point. Thanks. Thanks for the clarification. So we, we will try uh, to I mean, redesign it and just to add the missing points. Great. So going to the next slide, you you provided here reasons for gaps in the market. Uh, you mentioned new market product. Yes. And then what you mentioned here is that there is a lack of new market product reserves. When we're talking about new market product, we also uh, mean, I mean, the, um, the product similar to our mechanism, the product that provide new, new type, new kind of energy. That is the point. But uh, why do I need a new kind of energy? I just need energy and I just need energy cheaper than the existence one. I need energy available when I need and I need energy cheaper than uh, what I have. It doesn't matter for me if it's new or not. What really matters for me is the availability and the cost. And an additional uh, benefit would be that I can provide you energy when you want, when you need, cheaper, and uh, provi it's provided by a good environmental source. Yes, uh, without without I mean the uh, minimized harm to the environment exactly. and more more clean. So, things here that I would like to see in your pitch deck. What's the cost of production? How many energy could you produce? And in which geography are you gonna start? Because it's, it's not possible for you to start in every place. If you, if you, had, if you have uh, unlimited source of investment, you could increase your production. But even if you have unlimited money, you wouldn't have unlimited people to work on each station to create the project in every place at the same time. 
So you need to select regions to start and then you need to say why you choose that region. Oh, because we know the region, we have talked with government, we have talked with uh, infrastructure companies that are in charge of that location. That's, so we have relationship in that region, so we are going to start here. But then, once you have the pilot tested and the amount of energy created and distributed, we will use this uh, result to expand our business and to go to other regions. I, I want to see a plan here. Where are you going to start? And what movement are you going to do next? What's your next move? It's something that I, I, I want to see here. Yes, the very, very good point you mentioned. So, uh, then if, uh, we, need, we, need, we need to redesign our MSP page yeah. to add the points that you mentioned, especially the reason why we are providing the product, uh, what is the initial cost, uh, and what, what would be the potential income of this I mean, the product, and where geographically we would like to start or we, we are ready to start ma marketing this product. Exactly. And here in this slide, when you mention our product, here you could, you could include pictures. And it should be the third slide. The first one, the first slide is your front page, which is already good. We could improve that, but it's already good. The second slide is the problem. What is the problem outside that you saw? And then the third slide should be our product. But this slide that you presented here, it's full of text. It's not very good to read. The better way to present it is to present pictures saying what you do and how it works. It's, it's much easier, it's, uh, it's more effective to explain and it's easier to understand. And then the next slide, you can talk about the calculation and the amount of energy you're going to create with, with this product. Yes, that is the theoretical calculation. Exactly. And then you compare with existent energy sources. I like to see this comparison and to see your advantage in a graph, not in a table. So you could use a two-dimensional graph and then you can categorize each. You could use a two dimension, which is four quadrant, or you could use a spider graph. Yeah. The spider graph will provide you more with more uh, variables to use, which is also good because you have uh, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven. Uh, product comparison, you can use a spider chart. I think it would be good. So the next slide, we are running out of time here, but just to make a uh, few more comments here on the client side. Um, when you present the clients or the possible clients, you presented here pictures of what could be your potential clients. Yes. Um, I like to present this slide when you are presenting the problem. When you are presenting the problem, you could tell a story about what's the problem of each client. And there is a specific method in order to do that. 
uh, we are we are we are not gonna we won't have time available enough to talk about it but there's a specific methodology to talk about the clients and to tell a story to put together the problem and what are the clients and then you create a story to go to the next slide which is the product your solution so you should think a little bit better on this slide as well when you talk about your company i think it's not necessary to talk about your company at this stage of the presentation it's very important to talk about the people i see that you have one two three four four five slides with people which is very very good uh, what i would add in each for each people here is to talk about their results what do they have achieved in their career that make us that that make them very important for the project here you mentioned the technical aspects and the study aspect but the most important thing that you should consider is the results that they are bringing or they that they have brought so i would recommend you to add this uh, aspect on when you're presenting the team uh, other other important aspects that you didn't mention here is the financials. So it's very important to consider the costs, the revenue, uh, where do you want to be, how are you going to get there, how are you going to market your product, what's your go-to-market strategy, what is the valuation of your company right now? How much money do you believe that you're gonna spend in a year in order to run the project? There are a full chapter on your presentation that's missed. So you should include, include it here. Uh, in order to to have a, a a pitch available for investors for them to be able to analyze your business as a whole considering all numbers considering all strategies considering all people all right so uh thank you for very much for your very very valuable comments and, and, and the points that you highlighted, so they, they are very critical. So as a as a as a prudent professional, so you uh, immediately just realize the gaps that exist in our presentation. So you very, I mean, the professional. You explain what we should do to do it uh, to make it better to make it more professional and to make it more visually, I mean, that nice. Great. That makes sense. Great. Great, I'll say. Thank you so much for your very, very valuable time. Thanks so much for your dedication, for your contribution. So it's uh, very highly appreciated and it's an honor for us to, to be your, I would say, I mean, the, to speak with you, to meet with you. So we are looking forward just for a better cooperation. And we do hope to see you very, very soon. Great. Thank you so much. I Thank hope you. to see you soon too. Yes. And wish you everything in your, uh, every, wish you success in your every endeavors. Great. Thank, Thank you so much and take care. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.